competitive sports is a big problem. Um, it's a highly debated topic whether or not parents should just stick with it and pay the fees, or if they should stop going to do the sports, or let or go to intramural sports instead. Um, we believe that it's a big problem, and we sh and you can do things about it because some people can't afford the money, or that it's a really high cost. For one, according to AspenPartyPlay.org, for children 6 to 12, the participation in school sports decreased 4.5% from 44.5% in the past five years. This could mean that children, can, the families cannot afford these sports, which means that Children are deprived the opportunity to try a new thing, which means that later in life they could be inhibited inside a small comfort zone. Um, if you have a if you have a high financial income, the cost of sports is um, barely a problem for you. But if you have a low or even an average um, financial income, paying for these um, school sports can be quite hard. Um, in a uh, in a article called Pay to Play Sports, Keeping Lower Income Kids Out of the Game, the author explains, pay to play fees are only one component of the school sports costs reported by parents, including equipment, uniforms, and additional team fees. The average cost for a child's sports participation in one sport for one season was $381. And that just shows the average. So some sports has a some schools have a higher and some lower, but for some families, keep going, paying for all these sports maybe three times a year can be really hard. Um, in the pay to play system, um, the students cannot play if they can't afford the cost. And if they know they can't afford the cost, the cost, they're more likely to not try out or join the sport. And as in another school's case, according to the inquiry, Lakota sports particip participation is down to 15 percent. That means that this system is proven to decline student participation. Some people would say that students could get a discount if they say they can't not afford the cost. That could be embarrassing for the student or make the student feel like they are causing trouble. As Lily said before, <clears throat> for higher income families, the cost of sports is part of the problem. And the fees could cost anywhere from $100 at a lower level to $2,000 at a really high level. If this, this keeps going, eventually only the richest of the rich can afford sports. And right now, the average fee is about $550. One in three kids are obese or overweight. If a family doesn't have the kind of money that to buy, if the fa if a family does not have that kind of money to um, that can help their kid or kids get the, those couple hours that are required for to keep a healthy lifestyle. Um, in a way, it, if more and more kids can't play. That then one in, that one in three kids could possibly turn to two in three kids. Um, according to journalist Bob Cook, in a May 2012 survey, he found that 82 percent of 49 Southwest Ohio school districts in, were instituting pay-to-play. That means if 82 percent of the schools have the pay-to-play system, it's something that is widely spread and. It's a problem that needs to be fixed. Some people will say that the schools need this money because they're spending so much funding in sports. This is not necessarily true. 25% of the government spending goes to schools. <coughs> this means that the government sees that all this money going to schools is being used, not wasted on unproven, not working programs. 
they might even be inclined to give more money to help the future generation. Um, in conclusion, we all, we all believe that although it may never be possible to end the cost of school sports, but we think it's possible that there is going to be a way to decrease it, and all it takes is to get the school together and friends together and have a fundraiser or bake sale to add up to this. Um, for an example, a big example is one school in, from Indianapolis. They didn't, a lot of kids didn't have enough money to pay for the school sports fees, so they helped volunteer, cleaned up the Indy 500 and Brickyard 500, and they um, got $7,000 that covered all their school sports fees. So all it takes is to just put something together and